Hello, it's Chris Atkins again. Right, part two of the video. In this video, I'd like to show you an easy way of adding light and cues. Now, one way of adding light and cues to a sequence is to play your track, pause it where you want a light and change, make note of where it is on this screen here, and add it manually. Or, the quicker way, not necessarily better, but quicker way, is to tap out the space bar when you want the light and cues. So, to do that, press record, when the sequence is selected. Press play, top part of the play button. And then press space whenever you want to change or add a lighting cue. Now, you'll notice that as every time I press space, it made a note of the exact time I pressed space and added a null step. Or, if there was already a lighting cue there, it changed the timing of the lighting cue to match up with it. So, we'll add a few more lights in there. As you can see, roughly matches up with the timing as I did. So that's a quick way of uh, bashing out a song. One thing to be aware of is it does change the end time to about 24 hours. So if you weren't expecting that, that's bad. A quick way of finding out the end time of a piece of music, by the way, is to go to your music panel, select the track you want, and it'll say exactly when the track will finish. That's uh, when the end of the file is. It might not necessarily be the end of the music so it doesn't hurt to have a bit of a listen but you can change the out time and the in time as well okay so we'll match that to 3.39.15 so I'll just zero this out and type in 3.39.15 there we go so now that's matched up with the end of the song it's useful to do that for certain things if you were to add this track into a playlist for example this sequence into a playlist it would be useful to have that set to the correct time. Right, next thing I'd like to show you is how to make a chase. A chase is a sequence of lights that runs in a preset order over a certain amount of time. It's a very quick and easy way of adding lights to a sequence. So first of all select an empty sequence. Press edit, hold down control and press the left mouse button once. That changes the type of sequence to a chase. Go to your scene page and add the lights you want to have in this chase. We'll, uh, actually, we'll remove the green one from there because that's set to a fade. Right, okay, so we've got red and blue here. And that's basically how you make a chase, it's as simple as that. Press play on that and you'll notice that that'll now move automatically, increment depending on the time. Two faders here, that controls the uh, amount of fade for the chase, but we'll ignore that. That generally is best to leave that stuck on. This controls your speed. and this controls a crossfade between the two lights so as opposed to a jump from red to blue this one will fade gradually from and probably hit a purple on the way in the middle as you can see so we'll leave that like that for the time being so bad. now to add a chase into the sequence we've just made we'll get put sequence on both panes here to make it easier edit this sequence first, the original sequence select the null step where you want the chase to come in and just drag it in. That. So there we go. And I'll show you after uh, after seven seconds the chase will start, and it will run until the end of the piece of music or the end of the sequence, as it were. Oh, there you go. That's not quite running as I'd expect. There's obviously some kind of um, some kind of clash between ah yes of course right okay the blue wash doesn't want to come out so not important something to be aware of anyway so what I'll do to make that blue wash go away is we'll do another insert drop blue wash in and we'll tell it to go off at that point as well this is a good way of making sure stuff behaves. So I'll try running that again. There you go. That's not always necessary, but sometimes helpful to set that up. The sequence normally overrides what's already previously before it, but occasionally, if you if you have a, a slight 
a lighting um, if you've got a programming error there then it's best to have off cues as well if uh, something stays on and all that if you want an off cue you just duplicate the event and select off by holding down control and changing this there to off you could have it set to out as well but off you know what you where you are with off right so that's how you add a chase to a sequence okay okay I just pause it there for a moment to create another couple of sequences because what I'd like to show you now is how to make a playlist to make a playlist of songs in a sequence you uh, merely uh, yet again select an empty sequence click edit select it to timed if you want the tracks to run one after the other um, automatically select timed and then you just drag each individual sequence into your new sequence we'll rename uh, this sequence to playlist 1 Okay. now at this precise moment with it timed being as it is it's going to uh, try and run these all at the same time which isn't going to work very well and we also need an end point so insert at the end now long way of doing this is to find out when this sequence ends and then type that number into this to have this begin as that ends. The quick way of doing it is to hold down control and press shuffle and press this shuffle button. This will bring up this screen here. Select do. You can have um, either it come in straight after that first song or if you select event length and time you can have it come in up to five seconds after that first song but we'll leave it at event length for the time being. And press do this now scans the sequences and puts in the correct end time for them. So that's how you make a very quick playlist. Now the reason for making a playlist is uh, for ease of everything. So if we now add that playlist to our action screen, which is this one here, put that into the action button 1, this will show you the uh, user screen. Or well, this will adjust the user screen. Now if you go to options, go to user screen. This is the screen you want when you're running the show live because it's as simple then as double clicking on that playlist and that will run your first playlist on its own with all the lighting cues and everything built in okay well that's uh, pretty much it for that video uh, any questions drop it into the YouTube channel and uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing you again in a bit with some more videos thanks